Hi Sanju, how are you? Yeah, hi Rakesh. Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing absolutely fine. Thank you for asking. So, yeah. yeah. So, first of all, uh, many, many congratulations to you, right? For Thank getting you. selected Thank you so in multiple much. companies. And yeah. Thank you so this, much. Yeah, that to end this time of uh, recession. So, how do you feel about it? Yeah, so I'm so thrilled actually because as you know, this time session and cost cutting is happening and this is going for a long period. Mm -hmm. So I just took a very risk at this moment because um, I thought like after some time I'd be able to uh, get some company calls and all, but um, still I just had a try with my first uh, switch and, and I mean, uh, just first call what I got. So after that, I got selected and then I started this journey actually. So that first interview was very, very much, uh, what can I say, uh, troublemaker for me. But after that, uh, I thought it, okay, fine, it's now. <laughs> okay. So there would be a lot of learning lessons for you in the first interview. Yeah, definitely. So actually, I thought to start, actually started from uh, October 2020. Because as you see, like in the current company, I am just completing three plus six. Okay. And whatever friends I have in that company and uh, senior colleagues, they're almost switching from this company or I mean for a better growth, obviously. So I thought to start at least something. Okay. Let's see, like if I don't get uh, the chance at very uh, short time or so I just started that. And then I started learning from 2022, October. So the, the, the best thing actually what I had from my uh, very first day for this company, for my current company. So I was uh, trained and I got some good opportunity to work on the automation projects and some automation uh, skills. So I had that idea, the basic idea I got. But still due to the office works and some of tasks, like I forgot something of that. So I thought let's start on the very scratch, from the very scratch and then... Uh, to go on on this way because if I sit for an interview and by luck I got some uh, opportunities but for that actually I was not much prepared and even I thought it would not be good for me because just going by the luck would be good for me so yeah. I thought to start from the scratch actually I started on that uh, the Selenium with Java API automation uh, REST API yeah. uh, because I was working on this uh, type of uh, skills uh, in my current company so i got that then um, i uh, cleared some uh, online uh, courses i took that and cleared the first interview from that i took i got some uh, what can i say confidence to go for so yeah that was the thing and and mostly obviously your videos like i watch your videos at that time at every moment like uh, my lunch my dinner and uh, the breakfast every time i was just uh, uh, seeing your interviews to the people you uh, took and that was very very important questions because uh, if you ask me my interview questions that would be the same actually uh, regarding the taste ng the film operated questions and uh, like everything that API related questions, API status codes, the project, scenario based questions, everything. So that helped me a lot. Great, great. That, that's good to see that the videos were actually helping, but actually it is uh, a part of your hard work and efforts that you have put up. And uh, we would certainly would like to know, like during this um, recession and cost cutting time, how did you apply into these companies? How did you get the calls? Okay, so firstly, I applied from LinkedIn and Nokri. These two are the main websites which I followed. So apparently, I mean, every day I was just applying around 50 to 60 companies. But above all this, I just got four calls. Okay, I got just interviews for four companies and uh, between them uh, for three, I got selected. So I didn't get a good chance because I can say like, I didn't uh, do much in you know, much uh, attend much interviews, but uh, yeah, just four interview calls I uh, got and among them three received. So I applied to LinkedIn obviously, and whenever I see some HR numbers or HR mails on that post, so I personally mail them with my latest CV. And every time I I just updated my CV with some skills whatever I acquired during that time or previously what I had. So among all this, I just created a good CV. And I applied to uh, to that person, whoever was posting that jobs. 
uh, through mails personal. I mean, apart from uh, applying through LinkedIn and Opli, I just mailed it. Okay. Okay, that, that's great. So, how much hike did you receive? Okay. Uh, so, uh, my, uh, I mean, based on my latest package, mm -hmm. uh, I got the last offer around uh, 150. Oh. The last offer because great, great. Uh, uh, before that it was around 80 and 100. But lastly, I got 150. Mm -hmm. So, 150 percent of hike that in 2023. <laughs> yeah. So, how many companies you have got offer letters? Uh, okay. Actually, I got selected three or from three companies, but uh, I received offer letter from two because the second one I don't know what happened mm -hmm. with that situation, or maybe they rolled out that position, or maybe something can happen. I mean, uh, if you know the situation like this way, uh, so it can happen, right? In just a daily. Yes. So mm. I got uh, two of our letters, but okay. I got selected in that three couples. Okay, great. Wow. Yeah. So would you like to share some interview questions with us? Like which were the companies and what were the interview questions that you had got? Uh, yeah, sure. So I would like to tell all of your subscribers uh, and uh, who watch your videos. Mm. So I would like to tell them that Please follow uh, his all questions, like whatever Rakesh is asking. Uh, so please follow the all questions. That would be very much helpful for all the interview. So maybe okay. it's scenario based, maybe it's technical based. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I got so much help from that questions only. So firstly, I can say yeah, scenario based. Obviously, like in some of uh, e-commerce page or any kind of uh, other applications. Okay, web applications. So for that automation, what can the scenario that can be turned into automation from a manual? Mm -hmm. So that would be the first uh, recommendations. Apart from the technicalities, mainly obviously from Selenium Java. Mm -hmm. So yeah, basic questions like what is Selenium, um, Selenium, uh, and uh, the weight concepts from Selenium, the window. Uh, I mean the pop up. I uh, think that questions. Okay, uh, if we are able to automate the pop up and not, what kind of thing that we cannot or cannot automate through Selenium and Java. Uh, then um, the when comes the type code, right? When comes the type completed. Then framework based question, obviously, like it is um, TDD or BDD, whatever the framework questions will be there. So how it is created, uh, and the, whatever approach you follow for that frameworks. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is the questions. Then uh, gateway to handle and gateway to handles. Okay, how can we handle with group and selenium's, and um, then we can come to Java concept, which can be applied to a framework. So then uh, what is interface, uh, inheritance, mm. then poly polymorphism, I mean, whatever concepts we use in Selenium mm. framework, right? So that is the thing. And then apart from the weight, uh, three uh, weight should be, I think they are the must things so three words of this. I mean, if you go by just uh, explicit or implicit, it won't be the mm -hmm. correct approach. So please uh, follow fluent word, obviously. I mean, they can ask any time the fluent word because if you're habitually using explicit and implicit, so fluent word, they can ask for some triggered questions. Okay. So this can part, uh, this can be the part of Selenium uh, questions. Then project base, obviously, whatever uh, project you're working on. So for that project, how much deep you have worked. Uh, so that kind of questions. I mean, they won't ask you for the project base. I mean, whatever project you're working, but at least the overview of this. Okay, mm -hmm. They can ask you uh, over, I mean, just give an overview of the current project you're working on. So these I faced from Selenium and Java mostly. And the code, basically, because screenshot code, I got this question. And then uh, window handles. Okay, this uh, code I just uh, needed to write for the interviews. Mm, then Java, obviously, Java concept, oops, concept, basically. Then Java uh, programs, string programs, or the array programs. Um, then uh, uh, some swapping. Okay, this three or four, I mean, not three or four, but at least whatever the basics uh, program. You can practice, so please go ahead with that. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, I got API questions. Okay. Because from my last project, I got uh, I got the chance to work on APIs. Mm -hmm. So for APIs, you have the status course, obviously URI, endpoint, resource. Okay, what is payload? 
uh, what can be the query parameter, the query parameters and path parameters, uh, response, JSON, XML. Okay, the basic uh, fundamental things for the API testing. <coughs> uh, then API automation, if you have API automation, I mean the basic idea for API automation with okay. REST Assured, with REST Assured, yeah. So in that case, REST Assured questions, okay. I mean, what be the caching mechanism and all, mm -hmm. this uh, they can ask. And uh, apart from that, SQL database, basic RDBMS, DBMS, the basic differences for that foreign key, primary key, basic differences. Mm -hmm. SQL queries, joins, okay, the syntax, basic syntax. They will ask, I mean, they will just give you one overview for a situation and they will ask you like what kind of join we can use for this situation. So we need to figure it out. So that would be a solution. And yeah, that would be much, I think. I mean, everything I think I can't remember as of now, but these are mostly 70 to 80 percent. Right, right. No, no, these are, uh, I think, most of the questions you have covered majority of the companies are focusing on these kind of questions only api testing database selenium with java if someone has got experience in python they'll ask questions on python so i think this is good mm -hmm. yeah right so sanju now what is happening uh you know every day i'm getting comments from the people that they are not getting any calls they are not getting any jobs right so mm -hmm. what do you think uh why when they will be able to get the call or what do you think when the recession or this layoff time will be gone yeah exactly actually i watch uh some daily videos from you guys like you were there and some other videos also mm -hmm. so i don't think it's possible for us to say on a very correct time that after this month or this time this will be gone okay because we know whatever happening in my in, in, in our life uh, during this uh, it recession and all so but apart from that i can say i got much calls i mean much calls is not that mean like 15 to 20. Mm -hmm. at least seven to eight calls i received mm -hmm. uh from that four uh interviews i attended and uh, so and after the last interview even i got two calls but i did not attend them because i just fixed up my mind to mm -hmm. join the new company whatever i fixed mm -hmm. so that is the thing but yeah definitely i would suggest all of you so please, I mean, just not only applying via LinkedIn will help you. Please mm -hmm. mail them personally with your latest CV. Mm -hmm. Okay. And obviously, if you want to get some calls from them, so you have to follow up with the HR persons, like what happened, mm -hmm. if uh, if uh, they can see some opportunity for us. And even the HR persons, whatever you have connections on with LinkedIn, please approach them with a very polite tone. Uh, so so that they can reach out to you. And if they can see some opportunity for you, they will reach out to you at the very first so that much uh, connection we have to build with the persons mm. so right. that thing i think will work correct so you mean to say uh, once after applying into some companies we need to try to get into those hiring managers recruitment team and we need to follow up with them rigorously that what is the status of my interview and if you follow up once or twice then we can move on for the next company right yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. i mean even something has happened I mean, for some companies, we can see they won't uh, tell you that what happened. I mean, if you got selected or you got rejected anything. Okay. So, obviously, just follow up with them once or twice or maybe thrice. Okay. After that, you just move on to some other companies mm -hmm. and uh, be approachable always. Please ask people to uh, reach out to you. I mean, you can mention your mail, your contact number, anything. I mean, you don't know when the people will contact you. Okay. So, mm -hmm. be prepared with that actually. No, no, that, that's a good suggestion and that's actually will, that will help them in getting the job and let's say if now they don't have any vacancy after two months or three months, they have some couple of vacancies. So automatically exactly. they can contact them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Because whenever I started applying, okay, it was just previous, I mean, my first interview was in January. Okay. But I just uh, started applying from the October itself. So around two to three months, I was just applying randomly and just uh, mailed them every, I mean, whatever posts I could see, uh, the HR contact, I just contacted them as much as possible from my end. So yeah, it, the time takes, I mean, obviously time takes the best, but, but yeah, I just be prepared and uh, be approachable always. Okay. 
that would be my suggestion i mean i'm not much grown up to give suggestions because i just started my career no, but no, no, still no, i think so people will get a lot of help from you how many years of experience you have overall uh, overall it's 3.8 british okay great great this is my first this is my first switch actually okay Right. That's good. So you have been working in the company since 3.5, 3.5 years and now you're looking for a switch. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. So can we uh, know about the companies in which you gave the interviews, you got selected, the name of the companies? Uh, the name of the companies, uh, I don't know. I can reveal that. Okay. But... No worries. <laughs> so all are MNC, right? MNC or yeah, all are company. Okay. Yeah. Oh, great. Product based companies also. They mentioned product based. Product based companies. And that, that's wonderful. So during this time, you have got selected in three to four companies and with a 150% of hike during recession, during layoff. So that's actually a good that shows that your capability and definitely you have got good knowledge. And uh, it this video will actually motivate a lot of people who are looking to get a job during this time period. Right. I hope so. I hope so. Finger yeah. crossed. So I know. I mean, much talented guys are there. I mean, they're obviously better than me. But I just tried. Uh, I just tried hard. So uh, maybe. <laughs> no, no, definitely. You have got the job. So that's one of the best thing to happen in the world. That too during this time. Okay. So one <laughs> last question. Uh, how can we get maximum calls from Nokri.com? What should be the strategy? Okay. According to me, I think <clears throat> being online on Nokri, I think it matters most because I I have seen these situations where I was uh, much, I mean, online through the Nokri site, being the Nokri site. So, I mean, you can see that uh, whoever has uh, shown your post, whoever has seen your profile and whoever contacted you have mail because you got the notification, right? so i think that would help much because if you just get uh, uh get addicted to that scenario so whenever some people will approach you through knockery or through mail okay you will get the exact uh what can i say response from them and you can obviously reapply on that mm -hmm. so that would help much right right okay great so uh, thank you so much sanju for coming on our channel and uh, sharing your success thank story you. with us. Right. Uh, uh, no, no, thank you so much. Like, actually, you helped me a lot. Actually, uh, from that time, I was thinking like when I'll be able to uh, join this type of calls and I can share my success story. But I didn't think this much uh, can happen to me. I'm really honored. And thank you so much for uh, having me here. Thank you so much. It means yeah, actually we are very happy to have you on our channel. Right, and that too, it's a Sunday peak time. You know, it's a holiday and during the noon, we are discussing all these things. So, <laughs> yeah, no, no So, thank you so much, Sanju. And wish you all the best for your career. Yeah, thank you so much. And please take care and be inspiration. Like, you are the inspiration for some of our guys who just started the Tickers. So, yeah, I wish you all the best. Take care of your family and take care, obviously. Okay. And just be happy. Yeah, thank you. Wish you the same. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.